Good morning. Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm having a wonderful day, and we're getting ready to go on an adventure. Hang on, buckle up, and here we go. Well, off to do laundry at the Courtside Main Street Restaurant Laundromat. Driving down the road, we still need water, propane, and groceries, and I think we're gonna spend the night on the Colorado River. At Ehrenberg. Yeah. What did it take? How much propane did it take? Only four gallons, actually. For so this whole time we've been traveling, we've only used four gallons of propane. That's not bad. So four gallons ain't bad for almost a month out. We've had cooking time, we've had heat, and we've had plenty of hot showers. They've been nice. <laughs> You've had plenty of hot showers. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the indoor shower. <laughs> I have taken a couple outdoor ones, though. And I got an $8 shower at the laundromat, and it was well worth it. <laughs> So we're headed down to the river at Ehrenberg. And the road down here is a gravel road. And we found a field of cotton, it looks like. For as far as you can see. We made it here, kind of twinkling. We're checking out the area. We're gonna level up the back a little bit, maybe. Maybe just back up off this hill might, might work too. But let's go over here and look down this way. And this is the Colorado River. This is why they do the cleanup down here at Ehrenberg. People don't understand the term Pack it in, pack it out. It's kind of sad. So Alan's busy picking up trash along the edge of the river. Kind of sad. <laughs> but I'm proud of you, dear. This is just an offshoot of the Colorado River because it's looking pretty sad. A big hawk.
Okay, we're kind of getting set up. Uh, this is the Columbia River, or not Columbia. I keep saying that because we're up from the north where we got the Columbia and the Snake. This is the Colorado. Rock, Colorado River, huh? Rocky. Him says, yeah, Colorado. Can't get down there. <laughs> But if you look at the bubbles, it's actually moving pretty good pace. So, but there's a lot of slow stuff over there, slow stuff, okay? And then there's some inlets way back over there where we went earlier. There's some bands down there, and here's our rig here. We just pulled over at the side of the road to level a spot. Put out our cone. We're gonna do some work tomorrow. We're gonna try to actually put the, the pebble stone down in the shower. So this is our rig. And put the flag up. Yep, not up there yet. There's a Rocky over here sniffing. But yeah, we just pulled over the side of the road. We put up our little cones with our little reflectors on them. Got my chair there with my beer and Rocky's table, or not table, Rocky's rug. Table's over there under there, blue tarp. So we just kind of got some of the basic unloads. Uh, without the sun, I don't know which way our solar panels are going but it still says we got something like six days before we really need to charge so we'll see how that goes but so that's looking up river some people up river uh, it's a high pressure gas line going across the river and I-10 freeways over there where you see the big trucks going across and then that's like Ehrenberg. We actually went into your vice or something, California. Uh, the only thing bad with that, you pay a little higher taxes and then you pay like 75 cents a bag for every bag they bag your groceries in. But it did have a pretty good selection of stuff we wanted. Uh, Wayne probably won't see this maybe until tomorrow, I have no idea, but we actually got for tomorrow's supper. She wanted it tonight, but I ain't getting out the barbecue. We got the Blackstone with a slide out right out of that handicap door. It said that tomorrow we're actually grilling french fries with onions and flavors and shrimp got some like big count shrimp something like six, 16 to a pound or something i don't know but they look pretty darn good and then we got one big ribeye steak and a big chunk of asparagus so tomorrow's dinner we're gonna do asparagus shrimp and a ribeye steak and uh, maybe french fries. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But this is a Columbia, or Colorado. I keep saying Columbia because we're up from Washington, which Colorado begins with C. Columbia begins with C. But if you've noticed in some of our past videos, the Columbia River is from like here. Way, 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 way over there. It's almost a mile wide in most directions, so it's quite quite the river. Uh, what happens to the Colorado River down here, you know, Lake Mead, California, Las Vegas, and everybody's got their little sucky straw in it. So the time you get down here, this is kind of what you got left. It's kind of sad that, you know, Everybody's got their sucky straw in it. Kind of like the 7-Eleven clerk. 
they like the big gulp you can slurp them all day long and come in for a refill but the river here there's not a lot of refills left on it so it's kind of like a first come first serve whoever gets their straw out there first kind of sucks it dry we've actually seen quite a few birds we've seen some uh what's those little guys uh Hummingbird? Yeah, hummingbirds that suck the red nectar. So we've seen some of those and a couple of pretty big size uh, ravens. And then some ducks. There's been lots of ducks out in the river. Uh, haven't seen no big whales jumping or big salmon or big anything jumping. Just seen some big ducks jumping earlier. Well, time's getting short, and we gotta go. So we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications.